morning everyone today I thought I'd talk about energy and how to expand it in the body one of the first and most important things you can do is hydration this is lemon water sometimes I use the master cleanse sometimes I use apple cider vinegar and I will have the recipes down below so you can see what I'm doing here in this particular mix there is a half a lemon in here with filtered water I also put in some ashwagandha tincture and some dandelion tincture. I did not put echinacea in it today and I'll tell you how I decide that. I ask my body, do you want ashwagandha today? Right now it's saying no because I'm already having ashwagandha so I have what I need. So that's what happens when you hold something, you ask your body. If you go back, it means no. If you go forward, it means it wants it. It's moving forward to get it. So this is part of cellular energy, cellular, cellular communication, being out in nature, connecting to the electromagnetic field, breathing in that electromagnetic energy that's in the air, the powerful oxygen being right here next to my medicine cabinet, the garden, where we grow all kinds of herbs and other plants. So when you sleep at night, your energy kind of pulls into this area right here, kind of like a cocoon or an egg. And when you get up in the morning, it's important to hydrate and to expand that energy to get it out into the universe out into your aura. It awakens your consciousness. This is so important to do this every single morning. This exercise is quick. It's a Qigong exercise. And it starts with bone on bone. That's how it works. Then it goes cupped hand. That goes to muscle. Then open hand. That awakens the skin. It gets the blood flowing, it gets the lymphatic system moving, it awakens the brain and it expands your energy out into the universe. So hydration and then what I'm going to show you now will change so many things that are going on in your life. So how we start? I start with uh, deep breaths. In through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And we want to expand the frame of your body. So, in, exhale, inhale, exhale. When you're doing these two, depending on how you feel and where your energy is pulling you, you can inhale, exhale, and bring your hands right up to your heart. You can do this as many times as you'd like. I'd recommend a minimum of three times. Then we're going to start bone on bone. Remember, energy flows where attention goes. So we're going to start by working the lungs and getting that sediment or whatever you have in there that's stuck and getting that moving. <clears throat> so we start with, I do the collarbones with, with these knuckles right here, then come down, do the chest and thymus is right here, down the ribs down the side, right to buttocks, and then up the back, and then down the sides of your legs, this is, does, this works the prostate, 
right up into the digestive system where I have a lot of issues. This has helped a lot. It wakes everything up. It gets everything moving. It's going to come right up. Right up through here. Over the head. Down the arm. Right back to the chest. I also like to tap on my throat to awaken the thyroid and the parathyroid. Now you may get some coughing here because you're going to be moving things around. <coughs> now we're going to go to the cup hand. And we're going to start. This is muscle now. Remember, energy flows where tension goes. So you're focused on the muscles. Waking them up. Now we're going to do open hand. This is for skin. Now once we have done this, I like to do my entire face with open hand, just to get everything moving. And we're going to do three more breaths, or how many ever you feel you would like to do. finish by doing uh, energy work, Reiki, and you close your hands. For people who have done this many times, it's not new, but for people who are just starting out, it may take a while to get an energy ball started, but you throw the hands vigorously, and you feel vibration, heat. You even get a cushion back. There are people who can fill entire rooms with this energy. And people will walk in that room and feel different, but they don't know why, because they don't know that, the, that someone had put so much energy in the room. So, even if it's small, it doesn't matter. What you want to do is take a deep breath through your nose, and just take your hands and go. So you can leave your hands there as long as you want. Another deep breath. Pulling that electromagnetic energy into your body. And then you end by just relaxing. Letting all the negative energy go to the earth. Anything that's bothering you, anything that is going to disrupt your day, just let it go. This is a tremendous exercise. I've done so much for me. And as I feel my body changing, I can feel this whole area start to shift. My skin is much clearer. Uh, I actually have veins in the back of my hands now. I can see the bones in the back of my hands. I've never been able to do that. Edema in my feet, that's all going away because my lymphatic system is moving. And 
my whole body is awakening, my energy is getting bigger and bigger as I do this. It took about three days for me to actually start feeling energy increase in my body. So I hope you found this video helpful and that, we, that you will use this routine in your daily life. Remember, hydration and expanding energy. So if you like this, please like and subscribe, leave a comment if you haven't already. So this is Gary, hoping that you have an infinitely energetic, powerful day in your life. Thank you for watching.